AI outbreak, which is uh, a viral in nature, caused by a virus subtype uh, adenovirus, which is uh, a common infection disease, which is uh, viral in nature, that has affected a lot of uh, our young kids and others. And the numbers are significant, that we've given an alert uh, to the members of the public on uh, the best uh, preventive measures, on how to stop, how to prevent uh, further spread. And it is just basic hand hygiene practices that we need to wash our hands properly. We need to avoid contacts with uh, surfaces that are maybe infected. We need to avoid use of, uh, I mean, sharing of towels and uh, beddings just to make sure that whoever is uh, affected needs to go to the nearest facility and you don't have to rub your eye with anything or buy any eye drops with what other people are doing so that uh, you just minimize risk of infection. The use of other steroids on this uh, condition might cause more infections. So literally you are just supposed to use normal eye drops or boric acid which is perfect and it will just clear. But in case somebody feels like uh, the eye is sticky and it's having some discharges, then he needs to go to a, a, a clinic nearby. An ophthalmologist will examine and will give you treatment. Uh, we've already started uh, school health programs where all our PHOs are in the, facility, in the schools and uh, sensitize the communities around, informed all the members of the public that uh, there's this and there's no cause for alarm, that it is something treatable and we'll just go. Actually, it is not just here. This goes as far as uh, coastal belt up to uh, Tanzania. It's also happening. So this is something that will just clear off and there's no cause for alarm. We are actually gathering all the data from the time we've uh, noticed uh, these incidences and uh, maybe in the next uh, few hours we'll be able to give an exact figure but there is a significant number of people who have been affected, especially uh, school-going children and young adults as well.